Welcome back to the treasure of Nadia with another part of the story to get through. As always, there is a link down in the description to NLT's Discord. In there is a walkthrough written guy by Greg. It's a really good guide. So if you're not you know, wanting to wait for my videos to come out, because it is going to take a little bit of a while, that is going to be the best option for you. With that further ado, hit like, hit subscribe, and let's jump into the story by heading to Astro Key. After watching the interaction at Astro Key, we have a choice. We can follow Alia down to the south, or we can follow Naomi to the bar. I am going to head up to the bar, and we're going to follow and interact with Naomi there. I'm going to talk to those. I'm going to tell you that there is upstairs. There is a link into the bathroom, so I'm going to head upstairs. And as you can see, there's a few things up in this dingy attic. First, there's going to be a book for you to read for a little bit of lore. As well as this water pipe is uh, over here is making a leak. So we're going to click on that. And we're going to use our pipe wrench. Do that is going to fix it. We're then going to head back downstairs. After the scene at the bar, you'll then receive your first heart with Tasha. And you'll be given free control to head back towards the bathrooms and this time head into the men's one where there's going to be a stomping boots craft recipe for us to pick up. We're going to pick that up. I'll have that noted for ourselves. I forget in this game you don't pick up the craft recipes. After all of that, at the bar, we're going to head to Estro Key and this time we're going to go follow Alia. Alia is down here and we're going to pick up the sparkle on our way through and we're going to speak hey to Alia. And he's going to say that she can't get through here because of the bugs. We're going to go over to this thing on the right-hand side. I'm going to use our lights on it. Lighting that will clear the path and the story will continue. Doing that, we'll receive another heart with Alia. And then you'll be given free control of this area. Pick up the sparkles while you're here. You might even find a jade one just like me there. And then we can head to the library to speak to Diana. We're going to try and enter the library, but there is a guy in the way. After that, we're going to head to the Squalmart, where we will find Ash. Ash is going to help us distract the guard at the library, so we're going to go here. And with that done, we can enter and continue the story. While at the library, I'm going to make sure I sell all of my talisman to Diana, because I'm going to need a little bit of money for the rest of the story this episode. Firstly, we're going to head to the Squalmart. And we're going to be purchasing Hello. a photo from Ash. We will then receive our first photo of Sophia. From there, we're going to head to Janet's home. And we're going to head into the front door. We're then going to follow Kaylee upstairs. After the scene at Janet's house, we're going to head back to the library. Where you should see Ash leave the jungle and then scarper through, dropping a few items. First, what we're going to pick up, here? here's a broken camera. What do we have this here? sparkle, which is going to give us a silver talisman. And then Michael will interrupt us. And then we'll be free to pick up the final Easy. sparkle, which would be a key for the church. From there, we're going to head to the church. And this time we're going to enter the door down here on the left hand side. We're going to use our church key to get in here. Once inside, we're going to have a little scene. And then we'll be free to enter the bedroom to pick up this sparkle. What do we have here? That is going to give us a cave map as well as a chamber key. We will then be able to go over to both of these and use our lighter to light them up. We should now be up to four torches lit. And then we're going to open up this door using the chamber key that we just acquired. From the church, we're then going to head to Estro Park, where we receive our first heart with Madeline, as well as an extended park. Now, with Michael distracted over at the library, we should have a new area to explore in the park. So we're going to go to the left and then to the left once again. Doing that is going to give us a Karma Sutra page for Tasha, as well as a craft recipe to keep an eye on here, which is going to be a camera repair, as well as a plant just here, which is the Jensen plant. We are then going to go into our inventory and we're going to eat the Jensen bar. And with that, we're going to head back to Jessica at the doctor's. I understand that my pronunciation of that word is terrible, but you know, I, I, I try. And then we're going to head to Jessica for an appointment. After the scene with Jessica, you're going to receive another intelligence boost. This time, rare treasures will now appear more often until you've found free. As well as use this on the right hand side, we're going to go over to it and we're going to spark it up. And then once Jessica has left the doctor's office, we're going to get into, into this room. And now the lasers that were blocking you off to the right hand side are now out of the way. So we can go in here Excuse. to pick up a new camera base. What do we have here? And pick up some loose screws. But they're going to exit the doctor's to continue the story. And after that, we will receive our first heart with Jessica. Then you'll enter a drinking game with Tasha. All you have to do is wait for Tasha to look away and then pretend to take the drink. 
After that, you will then receive Tasha as a new contact. After that, we're going to head to Estro Park, and we're going to head into the cave to where we can do the crafting. Once we are there, we're going to go up to the crafting, and we're going to plug in all of the stuff to fix this camera. So, small screwdriver, broken camera, loose screws, as well as the camera base. Doing that will give you a working camera as well as your first photo of Claire. From there, we're going to head back to the squall mark, and we're going to speak to Ash. We're then going to be following Ash to the church, and then we'll be talking to him once again. On the story cutscene with Sophia and Claire, we are then going to head back to the squall mark once again, where we should find Ash Hi once there. again to speak to him. On speaking to Ash, we're then going to go inside of the squall mark, where we will find Emily with a couple of characters from Lost Epidemic. Once you're inside the shop, we are going to go over to the orange bottle and pick up the sunscreen for 30 bucks as well. We are then going to leave and we are then going to head to Janet's home. Where you have probably seen many of these jars all over the map. We're going to go up to this one and we're going to use our pipe wrench to break it open. Doing so will give us our basic container and we will then be continuing on with the breakage of pots by heading to the library for another one. Once again use your pipe wrench and that will give you a chest key. We're going to take that chest key and we're going to head to the bar and we're going to head upstairs where we will be able to open up this chest for a Kama Sutra page. That will be your second Kama Sutra page for Naomi. You're then going to exit the bar, and I'm sure you've spotted another jar over here, so we're going to go over to that and smash that open with a pipe wrench as well. That is going to give us some silver ore. And that is where we're going to leave this one for now. Thank you very much for watching. Hit like as always, hit subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.